starting this video with a quote tell me i forgot teach me i may learn but involve me i definitely learn hello this is nidhi agrawal student of edu did public speaking training program so today's topic of my video is digital education starting this with a story like i was sitting in the canteen like this and i have to submit the content of digital education in in an hour but i don't know how to write what to start so my friends came and asked me what happened nidhi what's the problem so i said that i have to write the digital education content and i don't know how to start so they said me that digital education is the innovative use of digital tools and technologies during teaching and learning so i said that i know that but what about the advantages and disadvantages of digital education from the point of view of so many other people so they think and then said that let's have a debate so we can make two teams and i was in the advantage side and my two friends were in the disadvantage side so i think that's the correct so i started like this digital education has so many advantages like we have recorded lectures 24 hour resources so we can learn anything any time and most importantly when and in offline classes teacher can teach us only two or three examples but from the digital education we can learn so many different examples with their uh, real life uses yeah you are correct but what about the communication skills like they will never interact with each other never interact with the teachers like taking my example i haven't interact with any of my teacher any of my uh, classmates from two years yeah your point is correct but what about the flexible choices like in digital education there are so many flexible choices like if you want to learn drama dance cooking anything we can learn it from the youtube yeah you are correct but then they will forgot about the how to discipline in the uh, public how they will it causes social isolation they will never connect with any of the people yeah that's the correct but this made students smarter like they they were seeing fan and they think that how oh, this fan works so they can google it and learn how to run the fan how to start how the fan works and they they can also make the fan and so many other things yeah you were correct but when it comes to the exam you think if uh, if we, uh, you know that we can answer the we can find answers from the google so they will never co- learn anything and they will never study anything yeah you were correct okay let it go there there is so many things in this digital education so finally we can conclude that if we use the digital education in a good way it is good but if we use it in a bad way like using social media and never studying anything then it's a bad thank you